All right, let's continue our deep dive into Oracle X by talking about RTP MIDI. Now, Oracle X is the free control software for my connectivity that allows us to do some really powerful things quite simply. Uh, we've walked through a lot of things so far in this series. You can see all the previous videos, tutorials, articles linked up below. But RTP MIDI is maybe one of my favorites. Uh, this is something that I do all the time, both for my own playback rigs, for students, and for clients. And in fact, it was a really big focus of mine in 2024, diving deep into networking, RTP, playback servers, all sorts of things networking. Uh, but it's insanely easy to do using Oracle X. Now, um, I, we've talked a lot about this, particularly how to connect a Mio XM, XL to a Play Audio 1U, doing all sorts of fun little MIDI networking things. We'll link up to some of those below so that you can see those. This is not as much as uh, of a how-to video, as more as just understanding that page and understanding what you're seeing when you look at it. Um, what's great is it's going to be a similar layout no matter what device you're on. So for example, if I click RTP Network MIDI uh, for my Mio XL, you could see all 22 uh, RTP connections available there on the page. If I click into RTP network MIDI on the uh, Play Audio 1U, you see all 22 connections available on this page as well, which is great. Um, and then if we go into, again, our Mio XM, we'll see just the 12 RTP connections available to us there. Um, now let's walk through this page and talk about a, a few things that we see uh, here. And again, you, you've maybe seen some tutorials of me using this, but let's see if we can really understand what's available to us. Up at the top, which is really important, is our IP settings for this device. Now with my particular setup, I've created an on-stage performance network, even here in the office, and I'm using a router to automatically assign IP addresses. And so you can see each of my devices are on the same range, 192.168.8. And they have a unique set of up to three numbers after that. Uh, but you could see all that information here, your subnet, your gateway, um, and then if you need to set it to a static IP and you know what that is and how to use that, then you can click this and set your static IP for each of your devices. But because I have that router in line, that just handles all of that for me, which is great. Now for each of the RTP connections, um, uh, on your device, you have the ability to one, rename them. So you could click this uh, icon here and rename that. I personally prefer just leaving the default name, but I know a lot of people that like changing the name to match what they're using it for when it's going to. So by all means, if, if that's easy for you, if you like doing that, please do that. Uh, next, we have the ability for each one of these connections to either be a responder connection and respond to another connection or a initiator. So for example, if I'm connecting a Mio XM to a Play Audio 1U, I'll typically let the Mio XM be the responder and the Play Audio 1U to be the initiator. What that simply means is is am I copying a name? In that case, that's going to function as a responder. Or am I entering a name? If so, then that's going to function as an initiator. So again, not a how-to video, but if I copy this info here and I go to RTP Network MIDI, I go to RTP1 on my Play Audio 1U, go to Initiator, you see we get a box here. We can type IP or name, and I can paste this in, hit Save, and it's going to automatically connect to my Mio XM, which is great. You can see that connection was made here, okay? Now, uh, next up on the list, if we go back, let's hang back out on our Mio XM because that's where we were. Um, you see, again, the name of that particular RTP port, and there's either going to be 12 if you have an XM um, or uh, 22 if you have an XL or a Play Audio 1U. But you'll see the name here, or again, if we change this to Initiator, like I did on my Play Audio 1U, then you get the option to type in the name or type in the IP address of the device you want to connect to, and then hit Save, and that connection will happen automatically, which is great, which is super nice. Um, next, you see the Bonjour name. That's how this device, how that particular RTP port on that device shows up on the network. Uh, if you're connecting to a computer, you could um, you know, type in that IP, that Bonjour name rather. This just makes it really easy to do instead of remembering 192.168.8.whatever. I just remember PA1U006-01-02-03, for example. And then next here is our ports. I do absolutely nothing with this whatsoever. Um, it's just there. It's information to let us know, starting typically with port uh, 5004, and then we go up to every single one. Uh, but that's a look, really a deep dive into the RTP MIDI settings. Um, again, you could do a lot of really powerful things with iConnectivity devices when you've got them networked together with a network switch, 
check out some of the videos uh, that we've linked below again to see how to do some specific setups. But that's a real quick deep dive and understanding of the RTP MIDI page. Take some time, poke around uh, on your own when you're not setting up for a show and have some time. Try making connections between devices. It's a lot of fun and it's way easier and simpler than you might think. So you'll give the rest of your bandmates the impression that you actually know what you're talking about when it comes to IT things, but all you're really doing is copy and pasting. But that's the power of Oracle X. If you have any questions that we didn't cover in this video, check out the link below to our support desk. You'll see all our articles in the knowledge base as well as uh, the ability to submit a support ticket if those articles, if this video didn't solve your problem and our support team would be more than happy to help you get up and running. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll continue our deep dive into Oracle X uh, in our next video. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.